Hey guys, and welcome to The Buying View. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking today about the Fulham midfielder, Zhao... I don't know how to say his name. Is it Polina? Polina? I believe so you say it. Um, we're going to be talking about him today. I was, there is some news also on uh, Victor Osserman. That video is going to come out also. Actually, to be honest with you, that might already be out before this one, um, to be to be perfectly honest. But yeah, we're going to be talking about um, the uh, Portuguese midfielder, uh, Jao Polino, I believe so you say his name, it, or Polina. I am terrible terrible with names so i do apologize um hopefully you guys are all doing well though make sure to smash the thumbs up if you're going to enjoy hit the subscribe button um make sure to also if you haven't go on the community page and vote um if you want to see uh the kingsley coman uh fifa series on this channel i was going to put it on the other channel but for some reason the channel has been blocked for a little bit um i don't know if you could still watch that video because of um uh, copyright and all of that uh, i don't think i got a strike but yeah whatever um so yeah let's just get into this though so it says here Bayern sent scouts to watch fuller midfielder in action against aston villa last month that on the 25th of april uh Bayern are just one of several U top european um clubs watching the uh the portugal international after his outstanding debut season in the premier league um so by the looks of it we are looking um to get cdm which is good Excuse me while I have a drink, um, which is good, 100%. Uh, I know that some people won't be happy with this just in the fact that obviously the main person that everyone seems to mention is um, Dion. But let's carry on. Uh, and then it also says here, Thomas is, Thomas Tuchel is in the market for a new number six um, midfielder this summer. I believe that Polinia uh, would tick the boxes. So, uh, yeah, Polinia, um, like I said, I know that he plays for Fulham, uh, but I don't know too much about him. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's 27 years old. He's, so, you know, he's got he's got a good amount of years in him. Let's be let's be realistic with it. Uh, if we go over to his stats, of course, remember, he is a um, defensive midfielder. So, you know, there's that. Uh, he has got some goals this season. Not that that, that matters, but um, three goals and um, 31 uh, matches played. Uh, and then before that, he played uh, over in uh, the Portuguese league. So he played for Sporting C, uh, C, CPB, I'm guessing that's their second team, and then went to Braga. And then from Braga, went back to Sporting. I don't know if that was a loan move or whatever. And then obviously went to Fulham um, in the and um, in the 2022-23 season, which is obviously this season. He's done brilliantly well. Uh, gets a lot of yellows. He got, um, he got 12, uh, 12 yellow cards, but... Um, he seems like a good player. Remember, like I said, though, he is a centre defensive midfielder. He's not going to turn into R9 and score loads of goals. Uh, I do think it's good that we're looking at other options just in case uh, we can't get uh, De Jong. Because remember, De Jong, number one, is brilliant. Um, you know, I'm not saying this guy isn't, but he's brilliant. And also, De Jong is at Barcelona, and Barcelona are probably going to want a ridiculous price for him. So we'd probably have to get De Jong to make that move if if that's going to be the case. And I think because of because of who we are, uh, as in Bayern, I think sometimes it comes to the point where we're like we just link ourselves with star names. Like when we get a new striker, oh, Kylian Mbappe, or we need a new defender, oh, Ruben Diaz. You know what I mean? Like we don't have to go and get the 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 most prolific name um, in at the end of the day. Look at Joshua Kimmich. When we brought him in, he was not a prolific name. We made him into a prolific name. So, yeah, with that said, um, that's just obviously his hard work. Um, so that was put out 18 hours ago, uh, and that was from um, Sport, Sport Pitio, I believe is what it says. Um, transfer correspondent uh, for Footy, Footy Insider 24-7. Um, so yeah, um, 120,000 uh, followers on Twitter uh, if you want to see that. But they they quote tweeted their own tweet saying Fulham will Fulham will demand uh, offers in the excess of 50 million pounds, which will be about 57 million uh, euros um, for Yao Polina. Uh, sources with knowledge of the midfielder situation have uh, revealed that a chance uh, to play for one of Europe's sides is likely uh, to be turned uh, too good to turn down. So basically, if one of the best teams in the in maybe the Prem or the best teams in in the world 
um, were to come in for him, he's going to go there. Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful, um, but Fulham, you know, Fulham are a very good team, but they're not Bayern Munich. They're not a Real Madrid. They're not, they're not the top echelon names, you know what I mean? Uh, and, um, you know, unfortunately, that's what seems to happen in this day and age, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. 50, 57 mil euros for him. Is he worth that? Uh, let me know. Um, but, yeah. With that said, that's going to be it for the video. Smash the thumbs up button. Hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. I'm going to have a, no, I'm either going to have a video already on the channel about awesome men or um, I'll have a video later about awesome men. I'm really not decided on which way I'm going to go with uh, the videos. But either way, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, mia sa mia. Peace out.